When I was a child, I had an imaginary friend, but he lived out of town, so I never met him. He was from Michigan. He worked at a company that made chain-link fences. I'm trying to think of his name. Anyway, he had a stroke last December. His sister was taking care of him for a while. The younger sister, not Brenda. She wouldn't lift a finger for anyone in that family, not unless there was money in it. But I shouldn't talk trash about Brenda, not after what she went through with the hospital after Clark's accident in 07. They had an apartment above the hair salon. One of the twins told me it was slightly fire damaged, so they got a good deal on the rent. I don't know if that's true. I never heard about any fire, but I believed it because I was just a child. What was his name? I want to say Richard. Rick, maybe. I haven't heard anything about his condition lately, and, you know, no news is good news. I used to hear his voice when no one was around. If I stood still and closed my eyes, a low whisper would reverberate inside my head. I had to concentrate and believe. He told me his union dues were a burden, but at least he knew he'd get a pay increase now and then, and apparently the company's insurance package was fairly comprehensive. I didn't know what he was talking about, of course, but I liked that he didn't uh, dumb things down for me. Naturally, I sympathized when his first wife left, Deanna. Don't get me started on that. I mean, she was nice enough, she meant well, but that whole thing was a debacle from the start. I'm just glad he met Sharon. Too bad about her. She was good for him. Fucking cancer. I wonder if he remembers me. I don't know. Maybe he just assumes I never existed either.